Hello everybody, my name is Skull Kid, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And in the last episode, we essentially completed the fourth dungeon, Arbiter's Grounds, but we're not exactly quite done, so to speak, because we came out straight out of the dungeon, and now we're like in this little staircase, and we just have to go up, because we are looking for the Mirror of Twilight. Is that what we will find at the top of this staircase? I am not sure, but hopefully that's what Midna uh, can expect from the top floor here. Okay. Um, so it seems to go this way, and the boss there earlier was uh, being resurrected, uh, essentially a skeleton that had been resurrected by Zant. So, makes the question, where is Zant now? Is he here? I don't know. We'll just have to find out. And we are now in the mirror chamber. And of course... Oh! Of course, some twilight beasts are gonna plop down here. The good news is after we'll be able to teleport to this dungeon apparently, so that's also convenient. Okay. Uh, I don't know if we can do this as Link, but now we have full freedom, so uh, I guess we do just transform into a wolf. Okay, so essentially we knock out one. Is that how it works? There's five. Do we need to get all five? No, we only need to knock out two or something. And then we need to do the final three or something from what I recall. Okay, attack, get the bats out of the way, because what are they doing here? Come on. And then, these guys. These guys. Okay. Come on, over here. Over here, boys. Trying to get your attention here. Okay, there we go! We've got our shot. And we got all of them down. That wasn't too hard indeed. And now we'll be able to teleport here. So that's good. That's exactly what we want out of these folks. Okay, and now I think we can transform back into Link. And use the spinner on this mysterious little statue. This section is really all about the spinner. And right on top, what exactly do we get? Will it be the Mirror of Twilight? No, it's just something else that we can spin. And now this statue is descending or ascending. I am not sure. I think it's descending into this thing. It seems to be, but that's only because we're extracting this weird weird little thing here. I don't know. What's going on? I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Is that the mirror? Is it that big? Guess we'll have a cutscene to explain it all. Aha! See, the mirror is broken! And, just as expected, that's how it's gonna work. There are gonna be fragments of mirrors in different dungeons. Makes sense, right? It's always that. You think the fourth dungeon is the final one after you got the three necessary pieces, and then something happens. And is this gonna be connected to the sages in any way? Because I'm seeing some figures up there. A dark entity lurks in the twilight. It houses an evil power. You who are guided by faith, you who possess the crest of the goddesses, hear us. At the command of the goddesses, we sages have guarded the mirror of twilight since ancient times. You seek it. But the Mirror of Twilight has been fragmented by mighty magic. That magic is a dark power that only he possesses. His name is...
Ganondorf. And of course, our first mention of Ganondorf, I believe, in this game. He was the leader of a band of thieves who invaded Hyrule in the hopes of something something something. He was known as a demon thief, evil master wielder renowned for his ruthlessness. But he was blind. In all his fury and might, he was blind to any danger and thus was exposed, subdued. <laughs> what? Oh, he was killed, or so it seems. Yet. With the power of the Triforce, I guess he survived. <laughs> By some divine prank, he too had been blessed with the chosen power of the gods. Seems like a bad choice from the gods' parts. Not exactly sure what these divine creatures are. They don't really look like the sages, but they kind of do, I don't know. But they are, they're all the same. Oh no. The Mirror of Twilight. What's it doing? We're not sure exactly what it does, but I guess it has the power to banish Ganondorf in the Twilight Realm? Seems like it could be what it's doing. And... One of their friends was killed in battle. So now we have better context for Ganondorf. His abiding hatred and lust for power turned to the purest malice. Perhaps that evil power has been passed on to Zant. You're just now figuring out where Zant got his power? It's far too late! Only the true leader of the Twilight can utterly destroy the Mirror of Twilight, so Zant could merely break it into pieces. Once broken by magic, the Mirror of Twilight became fragments which even now lie hidden across the land of Hyrule. One is in the snowy mountain heights. One is in the ancient grove. And one is in the heavens. You, who have been sent by the goddesses, you should be able to gather the three pieces. But you must be prepared for a dangerous power resides in those fragments. And here we go, it looks like her quest is only just beginning. And now, it's off to part two. And we must gather the fragments of the Twilight, of the Mirror of Twilight. So the sages are kind of mysterious in this game. I didn't quite gather exactly if they're all the same or like who exactly they are, but apparently this dungeon is more key to the whole land of Hyrule than I thought. I'm not sure what that is, maybe that's just supposed to be a stone that was kinda burying, making the sand rise. I'm not exactly too sure what it is and how do we get out of here. Uh, that's even less so obvious. So do we just backtrack all the way down this dungeon? It's possible that we do. 
But let's take a second to check if I missed anything here. Okay, no, this place seems pretty sealed off. So uh, let's just go back down, I guess. Let's see, what does Midna have to say? There's no point in us being here. Let's hurry up and gather the mirror shards. Uh, yes, so I suppose we're just supposed to warp out. Uh, which we can't actually do from here. So let's go back out. So, warp out. Where do we want to go? Probably to Castle Town. For one, I don't know what these symbols mean exactly, I kind of forget. But also we have a wolf to fight uh, over there, or a wolf to encounter, and then learn a skill. So we could go do that at the very least. Uh, then I don't know if we'll trigger something. I don't know. We will have to find out. So why don't we start by going after the wolf. Where is the wolf and how hard is it going to be to get to the wolf? Not too hard because we can just take a shortcut through Castle Town and maybe we'll see something happening in town. Maybe we'll get a letter. Oh, I called it. Mr. Link, wait! Haha, -ha, it's my favorite postman. Greetings, Mr. Link. I have come to deliver a letter. It is a letter from Barney's. Well, my business is concluded. Onwards to mail. Okay, what is this important letter? That might progress the story. That's not the menu I'm looking for. Letters! Rare item in stock. How have you, how have you been? Still a bomb enthusiast? Still loving bombs? Well, I've got some interesting bombs in, so come on by and pick some up. Wait till you see what these babies can do. Barnes of Kakariko. Okay, this also seems like a good idea. Because if there are new bombs, I feel like we're going to need them in anyways. And also now we have the Mirror of Twilight. Uh, replacing, I guess, the, uh, what was it? The Helm or something. Anyways, that's all well and nice. Enough said. Let's uh, go by, uh, just go through the city. Oh yes, the city is, or at least the castle is certainly under the spell right now, but I think the city is fine. So we'll go pass through here, meet the wolf, and hopefully that's it, and maybe we'll encounter some important stuff throughout the city. But it seems like people might be gone, and you're just here alone. If you would, for the sake of peace and Hyrule, would you please make a donation? Yes, let's donate 50 rupees. May the spirit of love descend upon you. If you continue to pray for peace, someday you will be surrounded with love. Okay, so I feel like we'll just get a heart container. Uh, kind of like how fairies work, I guess. But for now, that's good. We need to save some money to buy those bombs, but our wallet's maxed out, so we're wasting every rupee we find. Castle Town Central. Not too many people. I don't know if it's because of the castle and how it's been affected, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But let's go in this way, because I think this is the proper way to head to the west side, yes. Uh, but is it the west side? No, we want to go to the south side. I just didn't realize we actually entered from the east. Okay. So, east or south we go. Not here. I'm sure there are many interesting shops that we have never really been to, but right now we're just gonna try to at least find our next objective, and uh, that'll be a good start. Maybe we should go see Telma. Um, it's about time we treat Telma like if she was a main character, because she really is, and she might know more what to do, or at least she has connections with guards, and I believe the wolf is usually here. Um, so where can I see this wolf? Where is he? Let's zoom in on the map. He is apparently 
more like over there, so I probably skipped him. He was probably near those trees. What is this? Pick up. Uh, we caught a ladybug. Okay. That's why there's a little sound. So is the wolf like right here? I can't seem to find him. Oh, we skipped him. Where is he? Is he still on the outside? Can we climb this? No, we can't. Okay, so I guess he is on the outside, just kind of far out. And uh, I'm not mistaken when I say Wolf Link is faster, I hope, right? I don't know, at least he has a better flow. It feels faster, at least. Okay, there he is. But I think we need to transform? I'm not sure. With sword in hand, return to me. Yes. So we do need to transform. Transform into Link. And now the wolf is here. He jumps toward us. And our training commences. And we now face a dark nut. We meet again. It appears your efforts have begun to return some vigor to Hyrule, but it is far too early to relax. Do you feel ready to earn another hidden skill to steal yourself for the forthcoming battles against more powerful foes? Of course. Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure you have mastered the last skill I thought you. The shield attack. Now then, come at me. Okay. So, just shield attack him. And strike, I guess. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My third hidden skill is the backslice. Let it be honed into your mind. Okay, let's learn this backslice thing. A mere shield attack is no match for an enemy protected not just by a shield, but by a thick, full body coat of armor. Such enemies are often focused on guarding against frequent frontal attacks. They often leave their rear unprotected. That is when you Z-target and press A while tilting to jump and roll around your foe, then perform a jumping slice. Didn't we already have that skill? This is the back slice. Now try it. Maybe I've just seen people do it. I don't know. Okay, our training commences. Jump left or right to deftly circle around your enemy, then swing your blade while jumping. Your chance to jump and strike comes immediately before you completely circle around your enemy. Remember this. Okay. What I wonder... Okay. So I do need... I just needed, like, essentially dodge twice and he'll do it fine. Hmm, you carry yourself well, but do not forget the proper timing for swinging your sword while you jump. The third hidden skill, the backslice, has been passed on. Okay, well that's a nice one to have, I feel like. You learnt the third hidden skill, the backslice. Circle around heavily armored enemies to strike their unguarded rears. Okay, there are still four hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training between now and the time you come to learn the next skill. May we meet again. Okay, so apparently there's a fair, uh, fairly good arsenal of uh, moves Link can do in Twilight Princess. I didn't realize four. That's like seven total that you unlock. Pretty surprising, I guess. Okay, so now, while we're here, we have like nothing to do. Is this just, uh, what is this place? I guess this goes to, like, uh, Lake Helia, or whatever. Doesn't really matter. So we're gonna go to Kakariko and figure out what to do with those bombs. Actually, we might talk to Telma first, because it's just gonna be more efficient in the end, I feel like. 
So let's quickly go talk to Telma. I'm just gonna go back as fast as I can to Hyrule Castle. And here we are, South Castle Town. Uh, and Telma's bar should be down this alley if- oh, no, 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 I keep on mistaking it. It's even further down. Uh, right here. And Telma's bar, here we are. And don't let us down, Telma, you've been helpful in the past and I'm only starting to believe that I should rely on you. We could also meet with Oru, the man who told us to go to the desert temple, or maybe we're all alone on this quest, who knows. How is that Elia doing, honey? I am sure that shaman will find a way to get her memory back. That Renato is a talented man for sure. Anyway, honey, you've got your own things to worry about, so you just make sure you do what needs doing right now, okay? Now, I'm not doubting you, honey, but if you're wondering what you out to be doing, you out to go talk to her friend Ashe. Ashe. She's up on Hyrule's northern mountain, checking things out, and she's got good instincts, trust me. Okay, Hyrule's northern mountain. If you need detailed directions, just take a peek at that map on the table. See, I was right, this is now our, literally our hub to do things. At the moment, I'm absolutely entranced by the sky beings known as the Uka. Yes, according to legend, Hyrule was made by the Helians, who, as well, who, as we all know, are the closest race to the, go the gods. But also, according to legend, long ago, there was a race even closer to the gods, and some say these creatures made the Helians. When they created the people of Helia, they simultaneously created a new capital, a city that floated in the heavens. They dwelt there, and some scholars believe that this race lives there still, somewhere in the great sky. Sky beings, isn't that simply marvelous, old boy? What I wouldn't give to meet them. Okay, so these three are probably each going to tell us something about the place where we need to be. No, he still doesn't talk. And Oru is here now. Say, Link, you're alive and well. Tell me, did you find anything of interest at the Arbiter's Grounds in the desert? The sages? Those sages once served the royal family, actually. They were appointed as tutors to the young Princess Zelda. It was from them that I first heard tales of the accursed smear in the Arbiter's Grounds. Okay, so yeah. This is really our hub, I should stop doubting it. Uh, oh my god. Why didn't he talk to us the first times? It's been a long time, Link. My wife, Ulai, sent word to me. I have seen the children in Kakariko Village. And, of course, I have also heard of your adventures. I must thank you for your help with Colin, Link. I barely recognized him, in any case. I am troubled by my own inaction. I want to help the cause. These friends here, I have had a connection with them for a long while. Like the others, I am gathering information now. I will let you know if I hear anything. Okay, I don't know why you didn't talk earlier though. That's so weird. Anyways, let's uh, get a peek at our map to get our next location. Ashe mentioned Snow Peak Mountain and headed off. Okay, so that's where we want to be, and we... did we even have all these details in our map before? I don't know, but now we know exactly where we need to be for next time, so I'm just gonna walk out of here real quick. I forget that I can't walk at full speed, and we're actually gonna go buy those bombs. But you know what? I think we're gonna buy these bombs in the next episode. So we're gonna leave it here right outside Telma's bar. We now know our objective. We know that we need to buy those bombs, most likely, so we may as well buy them while we have the rupees. Uh, so anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, as always, this episode of The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. So if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to give it a like. It always helps me out. Don't forget to share this video with your favorite Zelda fans out there. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to Skull Kid Gaming for more on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess and all things gaming. 
right here on Skull Kid Gaming. Don't forget to check out those videos up there, I'm sure you'll love them. But with that said, have a great day everybody, and I hope to see you in the next video.